And just finally, Tony, your responsibilities notched up a few levels when Cav took over. Are you going to get a chance to relax at all? I've seen you in here every day. So no, um, I mean we we we're in. We're, we're discussing because we've we've got a you know we've got a lot to do. I mean there, there'll be probably this time of year there'll be there won't be much going on in terms of player signings because I mean we're just talking there. There's some clubs haven't even released the retained and release list yes that, that for whatever reason you know because you do have three weeks after the end of the season before you have to give players notification so some are maybe debating and sitting on the fence and working out what they're going to do a lot of them have we've seen we've seen what's available there's there's a lot of players available we if you go into the market now too early the players will say yeah thanks very much but they probably won't sign um because i think this is early so you, you, you will be, once June comes and you get towards the back end of June, there'll be, and I literally mean hundreds of players anxious to get fixed up. So you maybe you will start getting offered players towards the end of June that at the moment you probably wouldn't even get a chance to speak to. So it's about being patient and making sure we go for the right players and, and, and the right quality rather than just making sure we sign players because that's that's no good to us we need to sign the right kind of quality for the way we want to play that's said just finally but just mm. one more i suppose in terms of getting the keeper recruitment because it's almost a blank canvas mm. you're going to be instrumental in that yeah i mean i've already you know we we are actually you know at a point where we're, we're speaking to one at the moment we'd hopefully like to try and get that wrapped up if we can very soon um we that we should know more in the next week Either way, but if if it's not that one, then I do have a, a list of a few, and I'd work my way through that list. Uh, but that that's the one I would like to do at the moment. But there's there is a few others that I'm exploring and possibilities on if this one doesn't happen. So we, in, it, it's something that's ongoing, and you can't guarantee that you'll you'll get the one you want. I mean that's that's the way it is. If he's if the chances are that we want him and we quite like him, there'll be other clubs about that situation as well so it's it's difficult so we and we sometimes find ourselves working behind the other clubs because, geographically because he's got the option to go to a club in the same league but that's 20 minutes from his house or he has to move so it's what do we do um, but anyway you know you try to do the best you can and you try to make him think and, and, you, and be honest with him and say look this is the place for you to come and develop and be a better goalkeeper and as we've shown in the past, that if you come in and you show that what you've got and you're capable, you'll get your opportunity. And if you get your opportunity, you'll stay in. And that's what's happened with that's what happened with Mark. So. Super. Thank you.